I mean, for the people that don't know, obviously, you didn't start out with the Pirates. You came over, uh, signed a minor league free agent deal this past offseason. Um, so what was the decision like to sign with the Pirates? Was it more about, you know, the opportunity, obviously getting the invite to big league camp, or what went into that decision? Uh, yeah, um, they were on me throughout the offseason and, and pretty consistent with me and my agency. And, and uh, I mean, I knew a lot of guys in the San Diego area already on the uh, – on the squad. So, I mean, it was kind of like a little reunion. I, I was excited for it. And Joe Musgrove definitely helped me make that decision. And I mean, Kevin Newman and uh, Trevor Williams, Stephen Brawl, all San Diego guys. And um, I mean, I even grew up playing with Kevin Kramer a little mm, bit. Okay. So, I mean, I, I knew a lot of the guys there and I think it was going to be a good fit for me. And, and uh, I mean, every time I saw that Jersey on the other side of the, the field there, I knew I, just wanted to play the game a little harder in a Pirates uniform. So, I mean, I was, I was fortunate enough to, to land a spot there, and, and I'm excited where things could go. Um, you know, pretty solid start to the uh, 2020 season. Um, did you do anything differently in the offseason or anything like that, or did you just kind of stick true to what you had been doing and you just finally saw the dividends really start to pay off? Yeah, I mean, uh, I put in work every, every offseason. And uh, just surround myself with, with guys that are going to make my, my career better and, and my mental ability and physical ability. And, uh, I mean, every day you need to grow as a person or as a player. I mean, it's, uh, it's an ongoing process. And the more people you surround yourself with, the better. So um, I think I just took a lot more pride in, in my defense and my, my offense. I hired a swing coach. Um, just took a lot more pride in, in uh, the preparation this past off season than, than I did over the past what nine nine seasons. So, I mean, you're still building every off season, and don't never want to be complacent. So, um, I think I did a good job in that department. Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, you didn't have you know experience with the prior uh coaching staff here in Pittsburgh being that this was your first season here um but what was the relationship with, like with Derek Shelton and how would you describe him maybe if you know you had a friend uh, that was being brought into the organization as a free agent signing or something like that I I love Shelty uh, he, him being a bench coach me being a, a bench guy throughout my career so far um, he knows how to run a bench and not a lot of people do <laughs> but he's, he's an awesome dude um, if I had to give advice to someone coming in, I'd say just be yourself. I mean, he, he tells you how, how it is and good or bad. So um, be yourself and just have fun out there and, and help yeah, the team I win. I, I've always awesome. said uh, with him, you know, when we first started talking about him, uh, we had Michael McHenry on here. Um, shortly after, you know, the season had started and everything like that. We were talking about, you know, Derek Shelton seems to be like the perfect blend of a guy that can get along with his, you know, with his players, but not be too friendly. You know, he's just like an honest guy. So he's a good blend of like that old school and new school. And I don't know if you can attribute to that, attest to it. Definitely. But. Definitely. I mean, if you're going well, you won't change anything, but if you're not producing or not doing kind of what he had in the plans for you, uh, I mean, he's going to let you know and tell you what you need to do to, to fix that or maximize that. And uh, you'll be back. I mean, whether you get sent down or, I mean, have to take a mental day on the bench. Um, I mean, you're going to turn it around for him because I think a lot of the guys respect him and, and he's a good dude and he's going to tell you straight up how, how it is. I think the last night before I got my uh, jaw, my, all my wires out, I uh, had to, had to blend something crazy up. You know, everyone has those crazy stories. So I had to, I got actually some ironborn pizza, threw that in the blender with a little uh, tomato sauce just to try oh. it out, you know? <laughs> but, uh, How was that? It, it wasn't bad. It wasn't as bad as you cool. think. But okay. uh, I had to do something crazy. <laughs>